Hi there everybody. Today we are going to be discussing literal equations. Now a literal equation is an equation which uses letters as coefficients and constants instead of the usual mix of numbers and variables which we are used to seeing in equations. I'd like to look at the first example. We have um, the equation a is equal to pi r squared. Where did we see that before? You should remember that it's the formula for the area of a circle. Um, but what they are telling us to do here is to solve for r. In other words, we need to get this r alone. And if we look at what we are given, we need to see how can we isolate the r. So the first step is would be to divide by pi. Okay? And when we divide by pi, we have a over pi is equal to r squared. So we've gotten rid of the pi and now we have r squared. However, we have not solved for r. We have r squared. The next thing we need to get rid of is the square. And how do we get rid of the square? We get rid of the square by square rooting. But what you do on the left, you must do on the right. So we need to square root the r squared and therefore also square root the a over pi. And when we square root the r squared, the squared will fall away and we're left with r is equal to the square root of a over pi. Did we solve for r? Yes, we did. We got the r. We've isolated it and we've got it alone. So our answer is r is equal to the square root of a over pi. Let's look at our second example. Now in this case, they ask us to solve for t. So we need to isolate the t. We have v is equal to u plus a t. How do we get rid of the u? It's positive on this side. We take it over the equal to sign and it becomes a negative. And we are left with v minus u is equal to a times t. And how do we get rid of the times? How do we break up the times? By dividing. And we divide a t by a. But what you do on the right hand side, you must also do on the left hand side. So we have to say v minus u divided by a as well. And therefore t is equal to v minus u divided by a. Let's look at our third example. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared and they are asking us to solve for y. What do we need to do? We need to isolate the y. So it means that we need to get rid of everything else that's on the left hand side with y. In this case, it's x squared. So it becomes r, my, r squared minus x squared. And so we have y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared. And you guys know, what do we need to do when there's a square? We need to square root, but what we do on the left, we must do on the right. So to get the y alone, we need to square root both sides. And when we square root the y squared, we are left with y. And we have y is equal to the square root of r squared minus x squared. Let's look at example four. Yeah. So here we have a is equal to 2p and in brackets p plus 2x. The first step would be for us to divide by 2p on both sides so that we can start our process of isolating the x. And 2p divided by 2p will cancel and we are left with a over 2p on the left hand side. And here we have a over 2p is equal to p plus 2x. What do we do now? To get rid of the p on this side, it's a positive. We need to take it over the equal to sign. It changes sign and it becomes a minus p is equal to 2x. What we want to do now is simplify the expression on the left hand side by finding our LCM and our LCM in this case is 2p. So that gives us a minus 2p squared over 2p is equal to 2x. Now what we need to do is to get rid of the 2 by dividing by 2 on both sides, on the left hand side and the right hand side. So what I want you to 
pay special attention to is that when I say a minus 2p squared over 2p divided by 2 over 1, it's the same thing as a minus 2p squared over 2p times 1 over 2. And if you, know, if you remember how we do fractions, it's numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. And that gives us a minus 2p squared over 4p is equal to x. Let me do one more example with you. Let's look at example 5. We have m over 2x minus 3m is equal to minus n over x. Now, the simplest way for us to solve this is to multiply out by our LCM, which is 2x. We have to multiply each term by 2x. And when we multiply by 2x, in the case of the first term, the 2x will cancel each other out and we're left with m. And then we have minus 3m times 2x is minus 6mx is equal to here. The x will cancel the x and we are left with minus 2n. Okay. Apologies, I forgot to mention that in this case we are solving for x. That leaves us with m minus 6mx is equal to minus 2n. We're solving for x. In other words, we need to get rid of the m, so we take it over to the right-hand side, leaving us with minus 6mx is equal to minus 2n minus m. And what are we going to do now? To get the x alone, to isolate the x, we need to divide by whatever is in front of the x, and in this case, it's negative 6m. But what we do to the left, we must do to the right. So that gives us x is equal to minus 2n minus m over minus 6m. But it's not in its simplest form yet. We can still take out the negative as a common factor, leaving us with 2n plus m over negative 6m. And that gives us our final answer of x is equal to 2n plus m over 6m. Thank you so much for joining us. Please don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you again soon.